Will this keep the SmackDown Live general manager off TV, going forward? What's the story? SmackDown Live general manager, Daniel Bryan showed up on Raw this week to confront Raw general manager Kurt Angle, apologize for the attack from SmackDown Live on the Raw roster and admit that he did not agree with Shane McMahon's dastardly actions. For his efforts, he was chokeslammed by his former tag team partner, Kane. We understand that he was rushed to a medical facility soon afterwards. Here's the news update, as first reported by WWE. Come. In case you didn't know, if you watched Raw last week, you know that the show ended with an invasion from SmackDown Live that lay at the Raw locker room. Daniel Bryan and Shane McMahon were at odds when SmackDown Live aired, and it was clear that Bryan wasn't in on the attack. This week, as Daniel Bryan waited in Kurt Angle's office, the lights suddenly went out, leaving him in darkness. Out of the darkness emerged a big red monster, who choke slammed and seemingly injured Brian. We saw him being carried out to a hospital. The heart of the matter Daniel Bryan fans can heave a sigh of relief. This is almost certainly a work. We wonder if it's a way to write Brian off TV for a few weeks, as McMahon assumes charge of the blue brand and goes on the offensive against Raw. It may also be a way to not have Brian travel to the United Kingdom, where both brands will go to next week. What's next? We wonder if Shane McMahon will take this act as an affront, and choose to retaliate against Raw. Join us for our live and comprehensive coverage of SmackDown Live, in just a few hours. There will be hell to pay, even for the demon that hails from hell. Authors take the atmosphere of unease that exists in both brands has made the product very exciting. Daniel Bryan is okay in real life, but we wonder if this is the beginning of a rift between him and Shane McMahon. In the kayfabe world. Send us news tips at fightclub at sportskeeda.com.